This is easier. Okay, watch. So I'm just going to lift. I'm just going for height, right? So I'm showing you how my, my ruler's moving. So I'm going up to 30 degrees. And then I go up to 45 degrees, and then I go up to 60 degrees, and I go up to 90 degrees, and then I come back down. But do you see how most of my time is spent on the top half of that half circle? And then it kind of drops suddenly. That's just how it goes. Same thing with, uh, with X. It's going to drop significantly here, and then not a lot on that side. Okay. All right. Next up, we're doing 225 which is negative um, the square root of 2 over 2, which is what, negative 0 0.71? Mm -hmm. And then negative 0.866. Anyone really confused about what I'm doing right now? Where I'm getting these numbers? Do you understand that, like, we had already put these numbers in our calculator and I'm just remembering what they were? I'm not just, like somehow getting these numbers out of thin air. Um, the next one goes up to what, 1? Or negative 1? And we start going back to 0. It's symmetric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. You should go back to zero at two pi. Okay, I'm going to play you a video in a little bit. That's a great visual. Now, what happens after 2 pi? Right, because we hit the beginning of the unit circle again. Okay, so 13 pi over 6 is the same thing as pi over 6. So that's already back at 1 half again. 405 is that 0.71. And we go up to 0 0.866. And then 1. Does the graph end there? Right, so what I want you to do is this. Look up. Have an arrow pointing. It's like pointing down because it's going to keep, it's going to go down now. Will it go down forever? No, but it will keep oscillating. This is actually how um, sound waves work, how we communicate through cell phones, radio waves. Being able to manipulate these is how we make cell phones work, which is kind of a big part in our culture right now. How about over here? What about negative 30 degrees? Okay. So this is the graph of a sine curve. Um, 
the period of the graph. So what a period is in math is it is one cycle. I'm going to write above the word period, one cycle. How long it takes for you to go through one cycle. Can you see that it starts at zero, it goes up, comes back down, then it goes down below. Is this the same thing as it was previously? Is this, look up, is this the same as this? No. No, I mean they are very similar, but one's positive, one's negative, right? And that does make them different. So this is a cycle. Do you see how after my hands, it's going to start repeating again? Yeah. And back here, it's going to start repeating again? That means that the cycle is done after 2 pi. So it lasts 2 pi for one cycle, and then it goes again. The amplitude is how high and how low it reaches up, but it's the absolute value. So it's high and low. How high does this graph go up to? 1. And it goes down to negative 1, which makes the amplitude positive 1. You just say positive 1. It's an absolute value. So it basically is saying that the graph goes up to 1 and down to negative 1 and so on. Sometimes, and we will be able to change graphs, and we will be doing this in this chapter by changing the graph to make it go up to 4 and down to negative 4, which, by the way, is how different radio signals work and different, like when you're tuning it on a radio, they have the frequencies going at different points so that radios can tune in to the right frequency. Yes? Who, like, 